Hello everyone, hello from Sweden, Julia here, uh, welcome to, to a new episode of Journal with me and uh, today it will be a bit different uh, because today I'm going to make a new journal first. I have this little uh, notebook for quick and small collages. Um, and it's almost full already. I still have there a few pages, but it's already very bulky and it's not not very comfortable to work now in this journal. And I also afraid that uh, spine can break. So maybe I still will make here a few collages, but I think this little journal is mostly finished and uh, I really like to I uh, have this uh, small journal because for me it's a great way uh, to make something quick and easy when I don't have much time but still want to create something and also it's a good practice, a good collaging practice. So I decided to make another journal like that and this time I want to make it myself. I think you can call this journal pocket junk journal, it will be small. And here I already chose a few papers for my new journal. Mostly it's uh, book pages from different books, like different languages, also a bit different color of paper and also a few of the receipts and also a few pieces of this vellum paper. So now I just will uh, fold all my papers and uh, will make my pages. Maybe some of these papers I will have to cut a bit, but um, I don't think that many of them, mostly I just will leave them like this. Some pages will be smaller, some will be bigger, but in general I think it's like about uh, A6 size, like a passport size or something like that. Why I also like to have this kind of this kind of journal, like a small journal, because as I said, for me it's a great way to make something quick. Because it's definitely easier to make a small page than than a big one, and faster. So I like to create something in in, uh, uh, in this small journal when I don't have much time, but still would like to uh, create something and uh, also. For me it's just a great way to relax. Sometimes I just don't feel like creating a big page in uh, some of my other journals, but this one is really perfect. And also this kind of journal is a great way to practice something new, maybe to try some new paper that you have or something like this. So I think this kind of journal would be a great for uh, beginners, if you especially if you want to practice uh, in collaging and if you don't know yet if you like that or not, but just want to try. So I think it's a great way to start uh, to make some small journal like this and just try. Because it's definitely easier and faster to create some small page or small collage than big journal. Sometimes it just feels, uh, feels too overwhelming and too much to create a big page. You just don't know how to start, but with the small pages it's uh, not that difficult. And something else that I really like about the small journals is that uh, then you also can scan your pages, your collages and print them and also use them in your other projects, in your other journals and it's, it's really cool and comfortable. You can make journaling cards out of your pages or tags or something like this and it's very comfortable to take it, this kind of journal with you if you go somewhere and want to take some small journal. You also don't need that many supplies. So now all my pages are ready. I cut down a bit, a uh, few pages, and now I just will organize them in some random order how how I like it, how I like it, 
and that will be the inside of my journal. Um, also something great about this kind of journal is uh, that you don't need to uh, spend much time for making it, you can just take out a few papers that you have around you and quickly make something small. I think in general it takes maybe like 20-30 minutes to make this kind of journal and of course you also can make it even smaller than my journal. I think I have here in total uh, about 20 uh, papers folded in half, which you also can make it smaller or bigger if you want. Um, now I will make a cover for my journal and for cover I will use this paper uh, from Tim Holtz. I think it's from a wallflower paper pad. I want to use this part with a butterfly. Um, I just will measure it uh, about which size I, I need. Actually, I didn't really plan nothing before making this journal, so now I just will try something and I think it will work. I just will uh, cut out this piece for, for my cover. I will just fold it in half and that's all I think for this kind of journal. Uh, this cover will be uh, good enough. Of course, if you plan to add to your journal something else, like some card stacks and stuff like that, make some pockets, then you definitely need a uh, better and steadier cover and also a uh, thick and sturdy spine, but for my purpose, I think it will be perfectly okay, because I'm going to make only collages in this journal, so I hope it will be good enough. Let's see then how big and how bulky in the end this journal will become, but I hope that this kind of cover will be enough for, uh, for this journal. So now I just will make uh, holes, and again, I don't measure nothing at all, I just will mark where I want to have my holes, but I don't measure nothing. And usually I would make uh, three holes for uh, sewing in my signature, but this time I think two holes will be enough. So now I just will uh, take a, need a needle and will make holes first uh, in my cover. And then also I will mark holes for my signature and now we'll poke the holes also in my signature.
And for sewing in the signature, I will use something like a baker's twine. So I just will go with a needle through my holes. I just will do the, this two times through each hole. It's not really, I think it's not really a perfect way for sewing in the signature, but for this small journal it will work good enough. So I just will go through uh, those two holes two times through each hole and then we'll make a knot. And with this part in the end, I don't know yet what I will do. Maybe I will cut it off or maybe I will make a pocket, screw it down and make a pocket. But for the moment, I just will leave it like this. And now my little journal is ready. Uh, I also found this uh, cute little flower charm. And so I just will uh, attach it there in the middle. I think it will look really cute. And for closing my journal, I have this uh, piece of fabric. Maybe later I will need a bigger one, but for now I think it's good enough. And then later I will see how big my journal will get, so maybe I will exchange it for something else. And now I'm going to make first few pages in my new journal. I want to use a few of these cute animals, maybe one of these bears. I think I will use this one. He looks really cute. 
Uh, so now I just will find a page for this pair. Okay, this one. Uh, and now I'm just going to add a few small details around uh, him. The good thing that with this kind of journal, with all these different papers inside, like book pages and some other papers, I already have some nice background for my collages, so I don't have to cover my page completely. Of course I can if I want, but with uh, some collages I won't do that, like with this one, for example, I won't cover this beautiful music paper, I just will add a few details around. I think I will add one of these um, plants and a few small uh, things around. Okay, now my collage is mostly ready and I want to add a few of these. Uh, these are whole reinforcers for tags and I just colored them with ink and uh, stamped something over them that they look more interesting and uh, they are uh, in and like that they are really cool for collages uh, so I will use few of this and my first page is ready very quick and very easy collage but it looks really cute I really like this page and I want to make another one and for my next page I want to use uh, some things from the letter that I received few days ago from uh, from one of my pen pals, Natasha from Belarus. Uh, I want to use something from her beautiful letter. Really like this vintage style, kind of steampunk, a bit steampunk and all those beautiful vintage details. And she sent me many nice uh, things with her letter, like this beautiful postcard was very cool collage on the back and also a few uh, interesting papers and some small things uh, in those two small pockets uh, so I just will take out everything and will make something with those things but first of all I want to use this part I also want to have this in my journal really like this uh, small collage so I want to find a page for it and I just will glue it down here and uh, I really like to have something uh, in my journals from my pen pals and from happy mails I think it's always great to have something from 
someone else. Uh, so I will use uh, this page and just will glue it down there using double sided uh, tape. And I also will add one of the quotes that I printed off on coffee dyed paper. I printed many different quotes like spring quotes and some travel quotes, something about nature. I really like to use them now, so I just will add one of those quotes on top and another page is ready. And now I want to use some of this uh, beautiful things that uh, she sent me and make another collage on this page next to it in a similar style. Another page is ready, also very quick and simple, but I think it looks beautiful together uh, with that next page. And I really like to have these things from this uh, beautiful letter. I think it's really, really cool. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was inspiring for you. And I hope you like my new little journal and will join me for another episode of journal with me. I will make another episode with this journal next week. I hope it will give you some inspiration for collaging, for some quick and easy collaging. Maybe you also will, would like to make a similar journal. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!